What is going on everybody? It's the Daily Fantasy Hitman and I'm back with another League of Legends breakdown. Now, as you can see I had a little bit of a break. LCK stopped on the 7th and it's back on the 17th. But that doesn't mean we're done. We got five, what is this, six more weeks of the LCK and we're going until March 28th. So that's a little bit over a month. So we're coming into that home stretch. And we're starting off with a banger slate with two games. Okay, maybe not a banger slate. <laughs> the first game kind of sucks, but the next game is going to be hype, I swear. Okay, so let's take a look at those odds over at ggbet.com. I got Dom1 Kia not, minus 909 favorite versus KT Rolster, who's coming in at plus 491 favorite. Now let's see if those make sense, right? Let's uh take a look at these standings, take a look at... Match history. That one key is seven and one, fourteen and four game score. KT Roaster four and four, ten and ten game score. So you can kind of understand the odds a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of green here. That one Kia coming in here, winning eight straight, winning ten of their last eleven over teams like Gen G, Hanwha Life, DRX. As you can see, Hanwha Life, DRX, Gen G, they just beat 2, 3, and 4, and they almost swept all three of them. So, you could say that Damwon Kia is coming in here kind of hot. KT Rolster, on the other hand, lost to Nongshim, who's in 8th. Uh, <laughs> lost to Fred Brown, who's in 10th. They beat the Afrika Freaks barely because they had the blue side advantage there. Overall, the only thing that KT Rolster has going for them in this series is this right here. The fact that they have blue side twice. So if you want to get spicy on a you know a DraftKings lineup or something, go ahead and take KT Rolster simply because of the blue side. I'm not going to tell you that their team is more talented because it's not. I'm not going to say that they're in good form right now, because they're not, okay? But the thing they got going for them, we're playing on a new patch. We're playing on, I believe it's patch uh, 11.3, even though it says TBD here. Everyone else playing on 11.3. So, KT Roaster, they got a new patch, 10-day break, uh, blue side advantage. You know, you want to get crazy? Go ahead, take them. But I'm not going to take them. I got Damwon Kia winning this one 2-0 in a stomp because they're the best team in the LCK right now and they're showing it every single series as they seem to get better and better and better. So uh, Damwon Kia 2-0, lock it up there. Now let's go over to this next series. This is the one that I think could be interesting. You got Lift Sandbox, minus 189 favorite. And they're facing Fred at Brown, who's a plus 140 underdog, right? So those odds look awfully close, right? Well, you look at the standings, and you'll start to see both teams are two and six, six and twelve for Leah Sandbox, five and thirteen for Freda Brown. Now let's look a little deeper at that. Freda Brown, people are gonna look at this series, and they're gonna say, "Wow, they got stomped by T1, right?" Now we have to think about this. I found this on their Twitter page. Due to health problems, Lava unable to play, blah, 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 unrelated to COVID-19, which means he will be back, preferably for the next, think about it like this, he probably had some sort of issue, maybe he's sick, or, you know, and they're going into a game versus T1, which they're not going to win, and they said, hey, Lava, take, take the day off, you know, and you see this over here, they're having fun, this team's not down on themselves, they know, they're having a rough split so far. But look, like we said earlier, there's still six weeks left, right? So they came into this into this series, take away that T1 loss, right? They're coming off a 2-1 win over KT Rolster and a 1-2 loss versus DRX, which they looked good in both series, right? And this remember, this is the only team to have beaten Dan Wong Kia this split, which means this team has individual skill, okay? Everyone in the LCK has an insane amount of skill. Just because one team is 2-6 and six does not mean they're shit, okay? It means that potentially they're just having a rough rough time getting adapted. This is one of the newer teams in the LCK. I mean, they rebranded 
and they bought a spot uh, to be a franchise, and they're having a rough go at the start. Look, Gen G, O2, O2 Africa, O2 here, O2 here. But after that, you're telling me 1 2 versus DRX and a 2 1 versus KT, who, sixth place, fourth place. I mean, that puts that puts Fred Brown more around the seventh, eighth spot, right? Now, people are going to look at the Leaf Sandbox result. They recently played Hanwha Life, and they broke out of this massive slump. See, they have the same kind of issue, where they're playing these really good teams a lot of the time, and they're kind of, like, a lot of these series were close for Live Sandbox, and this team overall actually looks pretty nasty, right? So it's, it is hard for me to pick against them, but what I see happening is, like, everyone is just going to take this, right? Oh, Sandbox is back, right? But Lift Sandbox is still in ninth place, right? 33% win rate. This team is not good. You know what I mean? Just just because they win one series convincingly over Hanwha Life doesn't mean much. And and we need to preface this too, that Hanwha Life in the game one threw in Dudu, who's playing like some Dudu, and then they threw in Morgan. That type of you know mi- mix-up throws Hanwha Life off sometimes. And that potentially is why they lost this series so convincingly because i mean live sandbox smashed them in the mouth it was bad (laughs) and so the fact that these odds are so close after live sandbox doing that and uh fred brown losing so badly to t1 makes me think that the odds makers are actually taking this into account that this series is going to be really really close and then you look back at things like this like, this is Fred Brown's coach, head coach. This guy coached at Gen G for two years. Okay, so this guy knows what he's doing. He's not some new coach off the block, like uh, like we saw sometimes. With one, one example is Team WE, you know. They had a newer coach who had to kind of prove himself. This guy, Gen G, two years, okay? Now, the other coach, Micro, for Live Sandbox, is coming from... Uh, he's coming from Dem1 Gaming, right? He was a former owner, actually. But here's the thing. I forgot to mention this. He drops off to some team called Awesome. Like, that, they're not even on the page. He was there for eight months. And then he lands a job with Sandbox. So, I'm not saying this guy's bad. But I'm just saying, is that the same pedigree as a guy who was coaching with Gen G, I think maybe they're even. Because if it was just Damwon straight to Sandbox, then I'd think, oh, this guy's just trying to go out on his own. But the fact that he was with Awesome for potentially eight months makes me think this guy actually had to prove himself as a legit head coach before he came over. And the fact that he got teamed up with a team like Sandbox isn't the best sign. Because they're not a top, top team, right? So... Overall, I think this game is is basically even 50-50. You know, be convinced on whatever side you want, right? But overall, I look at things like this. I'm looking at blue side advantage. Fred Brown gets blue side twice, right? Let's go over to Game of Legends, where we can find how each team performs on each side. Fred Brown... Not great on blue side, but it's better than red. Three and seven on blue, two and six on red. I mean, they have three wins, I guess, on blue. Like, <laughs> that's not a great stat. What I want to really show you is this: the sandbox, blue side, four and four. That's fifty percent win rate. Two and eight. That's what twenty-five percent win rate. It's horrible. They suck on red side, right? And then we can go back and we can even look at specific matchups they lost on red side. Uh, Gen G, Damwon, T1, DRX, DRX, KT Rolster, Nongshim, 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 Nongshim. <laughs> they lost to Nongshim Red Force four times on red side. Their only wins on red side are here versus Hanwha Life. Here versus Afrika. 
And then one time here in the Keswick Cup versus DRX's, uh, you know, academy roster. <laughs> so basically, I mean, we could even look at the draft, you know, and things like that. It, you got to look at more than just, you know, the the stats that are in front of you. You got to dive deeper and find things like this, you know. So for that reason, I think Fred Brown wins this series. I think they sneak it 2-1, and they're my, they're my dog pick here. I like Demwon Kia, 2-0 over KT Rolster. Fred Brown, 2-1 over Leaf Sandbox. Let's get it, everybody. If you want my full DFS breakdowns, we're offering that right here. Patreon.com backslash DFS Hitman. We've got all the posts here. We already got the LOL DFS LCK breakdown here live. So... You know, do what you do what you wish. I'll throw the link in the description. Give me a subscription uh, on YouTube if you can. Like this video, and good luck, everybody. Let's get it.